did you know? In 1656, King Charles I had been dead for seven years. He had been beheaded in 1649 following the English Civil War, which saw his cavaliers pitted against the Puritan Roundheads. The Parliamentary Roundheads and their leader Oliver Cromwell advocated an austere form of Christianity. Notably, they frowned on the consumption of alcohol, public theatrical performances, and any form of vanity. Indeed, Cromwell himself insisted famously that a portrait of him showed the warts and everything. So this was a time when theatres were closing down across the country, but ironically it also saw the production of the first English opera. A design for one of its theatrical backdrops is seen here, but how was this allowed? Well, its writer, William Davenant, cunningly avoided referring to it as an opera or dramatic performance. Instead, it was recitative music, akin to hearing a speech. This was not illegal. Indeed, Oliver Cromwell's government gave this opera, The Siege of Rhodes, special permission to be performed. A dramatic public performance, under the reign of a puritanical, autocratic republic, how strange! It just goes to show you can justify almost anything, so long as you choose your words carefully. <laughs>